Mike Matten. I uh, been hearing your name a lot. Uh, two weeks ago, three weeks ago now at uh, Ohio State yeah. Championship. Was it your son? Yeah, it was one of my sons. I have four boys. Mad. So yeah, crowdy rock place goes crazy. I was uh, on another mat. And then uh, hear what happens, go back to the hotel room, Zeb's like going crazy and watch the match in overtime a few times. As a father, you know, when, when your son picks up a win like that, what was the reaction, the feelings you had? Well, obviously, excited and happy for him. You know, this sport is so amazing. Uh, the beauty of it and the pain of it is when you walk on the mat, somebody's got to win, somebody's got to lose. Yeah. And, uh, you know, fortunately for Cole, he believed in himself, executed, and got the win against an amazing opponent. Yeah. Tommy's a great kid. One thing, uh, that was the first Ohio State Championships I've been to. I just noticed um, there's a lot of depth, and I feel like here in Ohio, people don't care as much if you want to stay title or not. They're going to come after you. What, what, you know, how has it become that, you know, mindset or that, you know, approach to wrestling where I think you go a lot of places, somebody has a state title and... Well, I think, you know, there's a little different wrestling. Yeah, absolutely. I think in Ohio we're lucky, we're fortunate. We have a lot of great coaches, we have a lot of great programs. We have the, the OAC. I mean, the OAC puts on amazing events. Yeah. And so you come here, you know they're battle tested. It's a marathon starting at this level, going to junior high, going to high school. And by the time they get to high school, they know they can compete with the best of them, whether they're a state champ or whether they're just a state placer. You know, the coaches are great at instilling that confidence. Mm -hmm. Oh, so one thing I just popped in my head. I remember uh, Zeb interviewed your son. It's Cole. Cole's my third, my second son. Yeah. Okay. And he had brought up Eastern Michigan yeah. in that interview, right? And yep. it's a place that he appreciated. Now, uh, you know, have, have you talked to your son about that? What's his? What's your guys' response? And your oldest son is competing in Michigan. You know, end right. of the day, we love every wrestling program. But um, yeah, what's your reaction? You know, to that? it's just always unfortunate when you get in these situations. Uh -huh. uh, you know, I know Coach Bolliard and their staff do an amazing job at Eastern Michigan. One of my wrestlers that I've coached forever is is up there on the team currently, Jake Spees, three-time Ohio State champ. And so when you hear news like that, it's devastating on a wrestling global perspective, and it's devastating on a personal perspective because mm -hmm. you know what it affects these kids' lives. So you just hope that we can they can figure out a solution. I know there's a lot of support out there trying to get some changes. Do you coach your, your sons? I, you know, I coached at the high school for 10 years. When I, I have four boys. When I, when I started having boys, I took, went down to the youth program. So I coached the youth for 17 years. This is my 15th year at this tournament. So every year they've had it, I've had a son in it. So, yeah. So how do you, um, do you wear a coaching hat and then a father hat or does is there a hat that's like, hey, I'm a coach father, you know, like... Yeah, you know, that's a hard job for a parent, you know, there's a lot of emotions there, so, you know, I think as parents and coaches, we all make mistakes and you grow and you learn, mm -hmm. um, you know, so it's definitely a different hat for each uh, scenario, mm -hmm. and uh, at times uh, those lines get blurred, and it's our job as adults to, to figure out how to, what hat I'm wearing and when you have to wear it. So, hey, I have an 11-month-old son, I really hope he wrestles. I don't know if I'll coach him or not, but what would your advice... Uh, be to me, you know, the, the day he goes to his first practice to say I'm gonna I'm gonna help coach and what would your advice be? You know what I always tell the kids, you know, number one have fun, but do everything hard and fast. If you do hard and fast, life is good in wrestling. So and it's you know new parents, new kids, it's a marathon, not a sprint. And that's a, that's an important message to learn. Yeah, I um, maybe my finest memories are uh, with my dad going to wrestling tournaments the car ride there, wrestling, you know, just the entire thing. Is it is it like that for the dad too? Like Absolutely. you just yeah. Yeah. what? Yeah, explain uh, that feeling, that that bond, or whatever comes yeah. with. I think no wrestler will tell you when you ask them their favorite moments of wrestling, uh -huh. they won't talk about a specific match. They'll uh -huh. talk about it hanging out with this kid and that kid and this family and that family. It's more about the experience and the journey that you get there. So, uh -huh. absolutely, uh, it's you know there's so many life lessons in wrestling and so many relationships I've built. I've said it before and I'll say it again. You know, everything good in my life has come through wrestling. Friends, my wife, my kids, my family. Mm -hmm. um, just a lot of great memories. The wrestling's awesome, huh? Yes. All right, so transition from elementary to junior high and junior high school to junior high to high school and high school and college. Like, what's important? What do you? What do you? In your eyes, what's important for uh, 
a kid to advance to the next level you know, that he needs to take, that he needs to be strong or proficient at, to say from youth junior high as one to, to high school even. You know, I think at the, junior, at the elementary level you're trying to build a foundation, mm -hmm. in my opinion, learn the fundamentals, learn the ability to compete, learn the ability to uh, win and lose you know, tight matches, mm -hmm. and constantly try to put them in an environment where they're pushed. And then once they start getting into junior high and high school, you see where their deficiencies are, mm -hmm. and you specifically work on them. So at the end of every year, I ask my boys, where, why did you have success? Why didn't you have success? And then focus on those areas of why you didn't have success, and then move on. You know, my son just finished NCAA's last week. He wrote down three things he's got to work on the next year to hopefully get to be an All-American next year. So those kind of things, you know, they start at the youth level, but they, they continue your whole life. Yeah, and that, that process too, just think that reflection process. Yeah. Well, they're going to be using that when they're done wrestling too. It's going to yeah. help them with their job, with their family. With, right. With it's, easy to, yeah. it's easy to focus in on things we do well. Yeah. But the ability yeah. to, the ability to, I got to go. My son's wrestling right now. So oh, awesome. Go. You having fun? I'm having a blast. I appreciate it. Anything else? Nope, we're all good. Thank you. Thank you. There we go.